Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen. Um, I got my elderberry soaking in the, some water. I just went out and did a picking of those, but I um, wanted to talk to you about, I'm going to title this video, uh, more on the care and feeding of kefir grains. Um, I was, my husband and I were out of town for her son's wedding, and that was five weeks ago. And before I went out of town, um, I fed my kefir grains with fresh milk. Now, I use raw milk, cow's milk. I fed my kefir grains, um, filled them up to where you see it here. This is not that milk. Um, and I put them in the refrigerator because that's how you would let them go to sleep. If you, all of a sudden, you're getting too much kefir or you're going to be out of town, you can't take care of them, something's come up, you just need your kefir grains to go to sleep. So, um... I did that. I put them in the refrigerator and I left them there for five weeks because when I come home my garden was, had just exploded everywhere. I haven't had time to deal with them. So yesterday I uh, got them out and I thought I, I didn't even know if they were going to be alive because five weeks I would have thought they would have starved even in the refrigerator. So um, I got them out and I strained them out and they looked kind of skinny. You can tell when you're used to kefir grains. They just look skinny to me. They weren't real plump like they usually are. And I strained them and I put new milk on them. Now, um, I've left them here on the counter from yesterday until today. And we're going to check them out and see how they turned out. Okay, so it's pretty thick. So I think they're uh, doing what kefir grains do in there. And my kitchen's been fairly warm. I have air conditioning, but it's still been warm in here. I'm going to move you closer. Okay, you can see that I'm straining them. Um, I know in my last video, some of you said never give them a bath, but I have always, if my kefir grains start looking sticky or they look like they've got a coating on them, I've given them a bath. So let's see how these turned out. Let's see what we can tell here. We're going to Go ahead and strain them out. I've got lots more in the jar, so. We'll just keep getting the kefir out. They look to me like they're alive and well going to strain them and then I will put some new milk on them. We're getting quite a bit of kefir here. And it's pretty thick. I like it when it's thick like that. Actually, we're going to have a kefir smoothie tonight with some uh, sai berry, frozen acai berry, and some frozen pineapple. That's my favorite way to enjoy kefir. I'm sure there's other wonderful ways and uh, a lot of recipes. I haven't tried much else, but I know that it makes me feel good when I eat it. It's good for your gut bacteria, so. Okay, that's the last of it. As soon as I get these strained out, I'm going to show them to you. But these are healthy. And they're doing what they're supposed to be doing in the milk. That's why it's gotten thick. It smells good. It smells like kefir. It's gotten thickened. And my grains are now plump when yesterday they were not. They were kind of skinny, skinny little grains. What they're eating is the sugars out of the milk. And um, when they've done that, then they kind of get hungry. And they were probably starving in there after five weeks, but they lived. So kefir grains are more versatile than you think. They're not quite as delicate. Look how many I have. Oh, my goodness. There's still a little kefir on there, but I have quite a few grains. I'm still getting some out. I like to stir them and get it, you know, pretty, uh, 
get them pretty cleaned up, but that's a lot of grains. That's more grains than I actually need for one quart jar. Um, I'll sell some of these off. And uh, these are very healthy. I'm going to try to show them to you. Can you see these? Look how fat they are. Yesterday they weren't so fat. They were hungry yesterday. So I'm going to put these back in this jar. And I will get some milk for it. This is the milk that I buy. I don't know if you can see how much cream is on the top. Now I'll shake that up. Um, but I don't know. My kefir just really seems to like it. I'll shake it up as good as I can. When it's this full, it's hard to do. But yeah, I've been buying raw milk. If you've never um, looked into the difference in raw milk and pasteurized milk and the effects that it has on your body, I encourage you to check that out because there is a big difference. And uh, actually, the pasteurized milk isn't so good for us. Get some of that cream to go to the other end. All right. If I can get the lid off fast enough before it comes back, there will still be some in here. All right, we're going to pour. I'm going to put it back up to like where it was. And you know, that's a funny thing. When you have uh, non-pasteurized milk, raw milk, it does not get that horrible soured smell. Um, so this is great. My kefir grains were good after five weeks of being neglected and not being fed. They're still good by being in the refrigerator. So here's my kefir and I'm going to go make a smoothie out of it. So if this, if this video was helpful to you, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for joining me.